Hey there. Not a lick of makeup on, but <laughs> <coughs> this is just what's happening today. So happy April. Happy Holy Saturday. Happy Easter weekend. Um, wow. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. Firm foundation. So uh, in asking, you know, what's the energy around this month of April, we get firm foundation, which you can see it's like implication of like a strong back, right? Like, um, so this card is really about, but, but also you see that triangle shape like mirrored in the mountain, right? And so if you turned a, a triangle on its side, it would teeter. But if you put the flat part down, then you have that rock solid foundation, right, to build on. I feel like this card is telling us a lot. There's also, um, there's colors along the edges of that triangle. Like the bottom, a little bit down at the bottom, like the base, the whole base is sort of an indigo. And the top is yellow. I'm hearing the phrase out of the depths. Depth, that's a hard word to say. Depth. Out of the depths. What does that mean? Is our foundation coming out of the depths? Yeah, I feel like, I mean, that triangle from the foundation up is moving from darkness to light. It is moving up from the depths. I want to check the book because I feel like there's something in this card that I'm missing. Yeah, you ready? Use good judgment and heeding lessons from the past. Now this talks about, okay, this mentions financial, but I'm going to tell you, I feel like this card applies to everything, okay? Here's what it says. Using good judgment and heeding lessons from the past concerning financial matters will assist you in laying a firm groundwork. By doing so, security will have a better chance of building in the future. Blah, blah, blah. And then the other thing that jumps out is just be flexible and allow things to continue to flow. I think it's going to be a pretty intriguing month. And you know what? Let's pull a, a Native Spirit card from Denise Lynn. I forgot to mention, but what I just pulled for anybody that's new is John Holland Psychic Tarot, which is my favorite deck. But I really do love this um, Native Spirit by Denise Lynn. I love this deck a lot. Here's our message for April. Spirit Keeper of the South. I don't think I've ever drawn this card before, but I really want to add the word y'all to it. Spirit Keeper of the South, y'all. Let's see. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. I'm moving in abundance and prosperity in all forms Exp forms I still have a little bit of that head cold left right so I sound funny so it sounded like I said forums but maybe that's true too but forms expansion surging energy activity movement rapid growth be open to receiving the bounty of the universe now it is interesting that both of these cards had financial relevance to them but the other one definitely applied to everything, not just finances. This is a great time for medical procedures. Your energy will be at a maximum. Oh, so I feel like if you use that true, mm, sort of is what I'm getting. 
what I'm getting is if you have been putting off having some type of elective procedure done, check in and see if April is the optimal month to schedule that. Okay? Because I feel like that's not true for everyone. Some people, it is not an optimal month for medical procedures. So, but for some of you, it is. So I would say check in. Your native spirit wants you to know, in the medicine wheel, the south is the direction that symbolizes the warmth of the noonday sun, summertime, the full moon, and a time of rapid growth. Crops grow with vigor during the summer months. It is the hu In the human cycle, it also represents the vitality of childhood. This is your time to shine. It's also a time of great bounty in all areas of your life. Open your arms to receive gifts from the universe. Stand, oh, and then the journey. This is like the little extra action if you want to do it. Stand facing south during the midday. Close your eyes and feel the warmth of the sun opening your heart center. Absorb the sunlight as you sense yourself absorbing the abundance of the universe. Well, that sounds like a great little, little tool that we can use for this month. So there's your card for April. Your cards for April. Thanks for being here. I feel very, very positive, right? I tell you lately, I get like a little nervous because I'm like, oh, God, so, you know, I will tell you the truth, but I don't like delivering bad news. So I'm always happy when it's something positive. So that's good. All right. Thanks for being here. See you next time. Bye.